Hey everybody, welcome back to Know Where the Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. With every win, my anxiety grows. We're on 31 with an Eden run. This is Eden, not the Lost. I want to make sure I'm double checking that. HP, HP, HP. That's good HP, the shovel, and... Judas' Shadow. Oh, snap. That's awesome. Okay, so we can have, like... I don't want to say a carbon cop. Our damage seems pretty good, actually, as well. Um, which is... We've got all the elements here. Good HP, decent items, and uh, decent damage. I don't want to go too over the top and say, like, incredible damage or anything like that. Um, Mr. Boom is better than the shovel, but the shovel is 100 times more interesting. So here's what we do. We, we get ourselves killed, especially if there is a... Um, it's, it's a Lazarus run. It's a high-octane Lazarus run right now. If we can get a spirit heart out of that, especially, that's huge. Or there's an HP upgrade in here. Oh my god, there's freaking Pyro! This is amazing, man! We should take this right away. It does give us five bombs back with it. Now we can't hurt ourselves with the bombs, so we gotta be careful, but... We gotta, we gotta find a way to kill ourselves is basically what I'm trying to get at. Don't pick up the spirit heart yet. That's that's for when you die after Judas' shadow. Um, and if... Oh my god, what if Magic Mush is on one of these? You guys, what if Magic Mush is here? What if, what if the yellow and orange pill is good? Let's try it. Let's lock up. Okay, we might as well take two of those. And we got two of these. Oh my, okay, don't take it, don't take it. What about this one? Oh my lord! Okay, that one's bad. 48 Hur energy. Oh my god, we found a crossbait. This is going gangbusters already. And Juicy Sack, that's actually pretty good. What happens if you use the... This is gonna hurt. Oh my god, we made it out. What happens if you use the shovel on the crawl space? Does it just break the game? <laughs> it, it creates some weirdness. This is an incredible Eden start here. Okay, so what's the important thing? We take this, and we also have the spirit heart left over to do something with. So, uh, I would like to get ourselves killed as soon as possible. Maybe like a curse room could make this happen. Uh, we could also, admittedly, just kill ourselves, like, against the enemies, but it's a little bit less in our control if we do that, you know what I mean? Like, they could hit us one too many times and cause me to lose some HP I don't want to lose, or... There's a variety of different things that scare me a little bit. So we ha have a Balls of Steel and an HP... Up well, not an HP upgrade, sorry. We have a Balls of Steel and a Spirit Heart, which means that we'll be at, uh, 5 HP when we come back from the death, plus whatever we get from the boss. Is there like a fire here that we can take advantage of? That's what I'm trying to find. There's probably a fire on the shop that we can kill ourselves on. I'd like to get it done as soon as possible. To get this damage bonus so we take less hits in the process here. This is a fantastic Eden start. It looked a little like weird at the start. But once I found out that we have Judas' Shadow, it's all good. And man, this would be a really... I'm, I'm hedging my bets here. We have Judas' Shadow, right? We have times one. This item has to be Judas' Shadow. Nothing else makes sense. If it's not, and somehow this ends up killing us, I'm going to be real sad. But I don't even understand how that would happen, so. We're just going to murder ourselves here. And then, in doing so, we come back as Judas' Shadow. Take Balls of Steel. And... Get the Spirit Heart. And what a, what a fantastic start, not only in terms of, like, uh... In terms of like now our, our stats, but also it was a lot of fun. It was like a very creative way to start the run, which I like a lot. Plus we have Pyro and Juicy Sag. Like Juicy Sag is already pretty good. And then Pyro on top of it is actually just insane. I mean, it, with only Spirit Arts, it doesn't necessarily help us out all that much right now. But the idea is that in the future, it'll be, you know, stellar for us. For now though, we have a boss fight. A boss fight on which, uh, to be honest with you, we don't need anything, but I would like HP or DPS. Either one of those would help me out a great deal. But for now, I'm just on cloud nine, man. This is like a, an incredible start here. I'm assuming this is our second secret room. And it is. And if we're not... You know what? Let's blow it up to maybe get a blood bank on the next floor. Didn't work, but we got our bomb back. It's something. Uh, cool. Famine. Well, that's another spirit heart and a cube of meat. Nothing wrong with this. And if I could get, yeah, I was going to say, get those spiders to actually get in there. That's great. Don't take damage. You know, it, that's how we run into problems is by taking damage historically. We'll head down to the next floor so we can maybe get another crawl space right off the bat. We got 6 HP, tons of damage. An interesting space bar item for sure. Curse of the Blind scares the shit out of me. One of the few things that could ruin us. The, um, the mind. It's an incredible item. It's, it's very fantastic. 
At first I was like, hive mind, and I was mad for a second. And then I was like, why am I mad? My spiders are gonna be awesome now. Then I realized it was the mind, and hive mind shouldn't even be able to show up in that situation, and all of a sudden I was a much happier camper. Not that hive mind is bad at, at all. Um, would be very, very good for us, actually. There's enough bombs to make it very easy for us to get into the second secret room, of course. And, um, I mean, I don't really want to blow you up, but we can't really do too much with you. There's no reason to really blow you up, though. Second secret room, not particularly strong. Let's go beat our boss here. This is going to be a very fast floor if we want it to be. We do want to do the boss trap room, though. Not boss rush, boss trap. If we do that boss trap room, um, we could possibly get something even better. And also, I want as many places as possible, or as many chances as possible to get uh, a crawl space. You never know if we might pick up an amazing item in there, and we can afford to, to take our chances right now. I mean, we're a little slow because of the way that we handled the first floor, but boss trap doesn't matter to me. Or sorry, boss, ru boss rush doesn't matter to me. So there's some HP we'll probably immediately trade away. Abaddon, wow, okay. So our damage gets even better. Plus we get fear shot, plus we... Uh, get an enormous uh, HP boost as well. This is very, very good. I think that's probably relatively obvious. What do we need now? Honestly, this is one of the few times where I feel like I'm content to just sit back and let the game, you know, basically let the chips fall where they may. This game is incredibly kind to me right now. You know what? Whatever you want to give me, just give me. I'm content with it either way. Spiders are doing a lot of damage. Hive mind from our shop would be something I would like to see now, now that we've gone through the the trauma of accidentally thinking we got it anyway. I can't believe we picked up the mind as well. The mind, Curse of the Blind, is like the happiest of accidents. I love this item. Now we don't have to buy any of the mapping items from the shop either. Crawl space, please. No, can't get that lucky all the time. Oh, there is a tinted rock here. Did we, we got small rock already, I think. So mostly we're just looking for, I don't know, maybe even a golden chest there. Uh, and a trinket. A trinket would also be nice if we could get a trinket. I'd be happy. That's about it, though. Apart from that, there's there's no shortcomings on this run. Like, perhaps quite literally no shortcomings on this run. It's just a fantastic situation. Before we leave, I know we could have used one of the, uh, one of the shovel exits to get out a little faster. Figure we'll just blow that guy up, and I'm happy with the way that it worked out. We're going to be about 45 seconds behind schedule, but looking very, very calm and confident about uh, our chances of making this run work long term. Let's go find our, our special rooms first. We might need to skip, like, a secret room if we want to make boss rush happen, which it's worth skipping a secret room for the chance, you know? We're trading away like a, you know, replacement level D-man for a first round draft pick. Now, not all first round draft picks work out, but some of them do. Not an enormous fan of uh, Punching Bag, but it, it can be good, it can even be great. Even if I haven't found myself in that situation very commonly. Tears, I guess, is what I'd be looking for right now. If we could get some <laughs> Punching Bag, thank you for blocking that shot, but you didn't need to stand there, they don't move, really, so. Uh, well, they don't adjust their shots, at least I should say. You, you could just not take the hit as well, but I guess maybe you like it, you know, in some kind of hurt me more style of play. That's alright, too. I don't know if we want that, honestly. Uh, if we can roll permanent spirit hearts, and it seems like that's completely conceivable right now, why wouldn't we? The one thing we do lack is uh, a probable deal with the devil here. Although it would be nice, it's also very unlikely. Pretty unlikely. We got tears. You know what? All of a sudden, we're two minutes ahead of schedule. We were 45 seconds behind schedule. We picked up like an extra two and a half minutes there very, very quickly. So I think we would be remiss if we didn't do our full exploration here. At least the secret rooms try to get some money, you know? Oh, and that's a free ability to fly. Uh, and now that we have fates, we might as well pick, pick up the other eternal heart. Now that we have the ability to fly as an incentive, that's uh, pretty much a no-brainer. And this will give us more chances at that crawl space as well. We got 666, the number of the beast. No crawl space there, but that's okay. We can use this as an easy exit if we don't want to go to our shop. Uh, not sure yet if we want to go to our shop. We'll find out. Depends on our financial situation. Two of clubs. Um, probably pop that soon. These are both luck upgrades, which is crazy good. 
Definitely not going to get another uh, chance at the crawl space unless we buy a or find a battery charge, both of which are very unlikely. You know what? What if we do this? Oh, it took the... It took the... Uh, spirit heart instead. It's okay. Though. I think I'm going to go for it. I would like to get, like, growth hormones here. Oh, man, that's totally worth it. We paid, like, a spirit heart and a half. Which really is not a spirit heart and a half. It's really half a spirit heart because we wouldn't have been able to use it anyway. You see, like, uh, you know, our eternal heart would have pushed it out of the way. Probably should have used two of clubs first there, but whatever. Now we got more than enough money to, to check out our shop on this floor and still get a uh, blood bank on the next floor, should we want one. At the very least, we could blow up judgments if they were inside of it. Brain's running uh, on octane for me right now. High octane. I don't know what octane is. I don't think we need a battery charge, honestly. I think we'll just head down to the next floor. We'll do it in the roundabout way here. And we're still ahead of schedule. That's that's how good our damage is right now. And there's options is nice as well. So let's see what we have in our shop. Was it worth it? Eh, we have HP. We have one heart. Um, whether or not it was worth it, though, is something that remains to be seen. For now, we shouldn't have to worry about our HP. Like, we're in a, a stellar position there. What am I doing here? It worked, thankfully, but not a very smart way to make that happen. One Spirit Heart will take us to max HP. Alright, we don't get it, but, you know, we do have Pyro, so... It's not like that was gonna hurt us, even if I did get hit by it. Pretty much right on schedule for Boss Rush now. And I would do Boss Rush. Assuming we can get a little bit more damage, I would totally do it. I'm very sorry about this judgment. Has to be done, though. Give us that uh, better deal with the devil chance, allow us to get some more items, even, uh, you know, lump of coal. I, I don't think I'd take Krampus's head here because, I, oh man, the dimes that are top of the line. I, uh, I would like to see what the shovel can do for us. We've had some good runs with the shovel before. Now, the real trick here is don't accidentally, you know, use the shovel in a situation where you're going to have to walk on top of it. It just leads to despair. Despair leads to pain. Pain leads to the dark side. The dark side leads to uh, a zero streak. Well, not a zero streak, but it's, you know, a, a win where everyone's mad at you because you freaking, uh, you scummed it up and didn't go fight the chest. You ended up having to fight Satan, you ding dong. Not, not of the Mega Stand variety either. All right, you are dead. Wait for the charge. Use it. Oh, that was very fast. And our crawl space this time just contains a chest, but that's okay. Chest contains safety cap. I mean, I guess why not, you know? We we know our pill rotation, and we're relatively confident that we've got a good one. 48-hour energy can wait until maybe the next floor. Tears up. Absolutely. Not my favorite trinket in the game, but definitely one that is workable. So many good uses for 48-hour energy. The shovel is, is not really traditionally thought of as one of them, but we can get some value out of it. Spoonbender is a, a fantastic item in the basis of many a great synergy. Plus, it just makes our tiers look cooler. And the greed fight is... Well, I shouldn't have been there. Let's just be honest. But the greed fight is not a problem. That's uh, two more luck up pills. We are going to have, like, max luck stats. So, it's at this point in which I ask the RNG gods of the game, give me tough love. I want to see in the wild a run where we get... Uh... We'll take them both. I want to see in the wild... Oh, that... okay. We took them both. <laughs> we shouldn't have, though. One of them's a health down, one of them's a health up. Um, oh my god, two Dagaz runes. Well, that's no more Curse of the um, Unknown. I don't know what we take with us. I think 48-hour energy might be the coolest choice, actually. But uh, yeah, give us tough love. I want to have a natural all teeth run. Sounds like a, a category of internet pornography. If I can put it in my, my oldest old man voice possible. Hey! <laughs> I can't do it. Bear can do it. I don't know. I think we take the speed upgrade here. This is how topsy-turvy this run is right here. I think speed beats super bandage because super bandage does... It, it gives us one red heart. Which, I don't know if that's valuable for us, like, at all right now. And uh, similarly, like, the Degas rune, I guess I like it for, for purging a curse. But 48-hour energy makes it more likely for us to find a black market or crawl space. We're out of here also. Yeah, oh, I'm going to take the speed. I mean, it's weird. I'm not doing this to be like, hey, check it out. We're so strong, I'm not even going to take an HP upgrade. Rather, I'm actually doing it because I'm like, I think this is the best choice for us. So we're looking for a uh, crawl space here. And we did not find one. So there's 48-hour energy. Uh, wasted, I guess, is probably the way that you could describe that. But uh, that's okay. Again, damage is so good. HP is so good. What does it really matter? 
I should never have done that, but it's okay. Um, it, it really doesn't make a difference right now. And if it does make a difference, I think the speed pickup is is better. And, you know, 48-hour energy to find a crawl space is good for morale, man. There's another 48-hour energy. I'll pop that shit, like, right away. Put that down there. Don't accidentally dodge into it, though. You'll be unhappy. There we go, finally. Took, like, seven plays, but we found our crawl space. Or potentially black market. And we got infamy out of this room as well, which is fantastic. The luck-ups, man. It's time to get Robo Baby 2.0. It is a shit item. But we got it. And I'm happy about it. <clears throat> Seriously, straight up, one of the most powerful and fastest to get powerful Eden runs I've ever seen. I think, or run with any character. And I love that this is kind of a novel run. Like, this is a very, very unusual way to make this happen. But we're getting all sorts of good stuff working out for us in, in unusual ways. Judas's Shadow, again, if there's one item that has really improved its... Well, one item for which I've finally understood how good it can be. And I've, I've liked Judas's Shadow for a long time, but I'm starting to love it now. Judas's Shadow is that item. It's, it's improved its, like, its place in my meta substantially. There's almost no reason not to use it. And people were telling me that for a long time, and I was like, no. It was almost like the nine lives hesitance that some people have. I mean, obviously, I'm talking about Nick specifically here. He's like, you know, you shouldn't give up uh, too many red hearts to take nine lives. I disagree with that, and, you know, I'm not trying to call him out or anything like that, but I, I, I do disagree with that within the context of the game. I'm going to blow this guy up. I, I know we could have played it, but, you know, just get out of here, man. Uh, I think I, w I had a little bit too conservative of an attitude towards... Uh, Towards uh, Judas's shadow, and, and now I'm coming back around to the other side. So, if we take, uh, well, I'll tell you what, we'll take the stars card and we'll use this for boss rush. We should be able to make it happen. Curse room a little disappointing. We'll get hit a little on the way out, but uh, all health upgrade. <laughs> I still think the stars card is more valuable. If we can get out of boss rush by teleporting, I will still do it. You know, as much as I like to do boss rush nowadays, I also still very much like to skip boss rush if we can. We'd like to be out of here by 16, 1630, somewhere in there, but it doesn't really matter if we have the mind plus the stars. We can just bum rush the boss room, get in, get out, and then hit our item room and our shop up. It shouldn't be hard to get to boss rush on this run. Hoping that blowing up that demon judgment counts for uh, something when it comes to our deal with the devil uh, probability. We have the HP necessary to take something, for sure. Sister Maggie is out of the rotation there now. Stars is still better. <laughs> We are going to be a little slower than I thought, but it's because of that, that room where I spent way too much time. That doesn't mean that, you know, because I know the cause, that doesn't mean that it's negated. But it does uh, answer the question. I don't really want our second secret room. I will check out that stuff. Uh, I almost bought the compass. Why would I not want to buy the compass? There's no reason to buy the compass. It doesn't make any sense. Let's do this, Infamy. Mask of Infamy. I've already got your Mask of Infamy, mon frere. You are in for a hard time here. I don't really like either of those. I should have, though. Um, we can already fly. I almost feel like we don't take anything here. Like, we'll take Hairball, because it could become Guppy. I, I guess we might as well get uh, Ouija Board, basically. And then come down here and pick up, like, this. It's a weird one, though. I know we have that health pill as well, but um, it's this is a very strange one. We, we're taking a lot of items we don't really feel like taking. Strangely enough. All right. It opened up a stoma, which is not great for us, obviously. Guppy items, please. No, that's all right, too. Bad gas. Luck up. I'll take as many luck upgrades as you can stomach giving me. Before we get uh, too attached to anything on this run, let's just go to the boss room. Because we have the ability to get out, and we'll get out on our item room. It gives us a, it basically gives us a free pass to do everything on the floor. We just have to get there in time. So uh, let's make sure that we're doing that appropriately, and then the world is our oyster, basically. You know, do your, you can't uh, eat your pudding if you haven't finished your meat. I never understood that. Maybe it's like a British thing, but you know, I would rather have meat than pudding most of the time, and that that was true when I was a child as well. I've never been much of a pudding fan, but if you're like, hey, you know, we got this sweet ass like. Sunday roast. I'd be like, yeah, man. Give me some of that. You can have my pudding. Give me some more of your meat. 
I got to have some of your ham. Give it to me. Okay. Very easy fight thus far. That's probably not going to change. Anytime soon, at least. Thank you, Pyro. I totally forgot that we even had Pyro. Strangely enough, we'll take the Polaroid. We'll fight Krampus and hopefully get a lump of coal. Although, Krampus' head would also be better than the shovel, but we would probably stick with the shovel. But there's lump of coal. I mean, I, demon baby, if we're not going to... Uh, if we're not going to keep Book of Shadows. Mr. Mega helps out. And that, you know, it wasn't the most enormous coup of all time. We did some good stuff there, though. Spirit Hearts uh, are somewhat still welcome, for sure. Uh, and as are pills, no doubt. Range up, speed up, luck up, for sure. Balls of Steel, no health up, right? And then 48 hour energy, which we'll try in the corners here. We're never coming back this way anyway, that's okay. We might have been able to do this floor while doing boss rush as well, like actually completing it, but where's the fun in that? You know, if we can cheese boss rush, snag a free item, it's fine by me. And we got this health downgrade, we'll hope to turn into a health upgrade uh, at some point. Is there an item down there? No, it was just the way he was interfacing with the turret looked weird. Alright, so here we want to do this room, and then that's probably the end of the floor for us. We've had like nine luck upgrade pills, and I think that's not like an exaggeration. I think we may literally have had nine upgrade or luck upgrade pills. Alright, you should be dead before you get another chance. Oh, it's a little close, but we made it happen. We have an arcade as well. I mean, we can try to take advantage of that arcade, but really it's all about the next floor now. And I can't. I, this run has been amazing, and I love it, but I can't believe that this run is faster than the last run, where we had like Mom's Knife, Judas' Shadow. That boggles my mind a little bit. We got invincibility thanks to the Polaroid. Might as well take advantage of said invincibility, see if we can get something out of it. I don't really think we need the Spirit Hearts that uh, strictly. Super Greed fight, very easy. I don't really want what he can give me. We already have max money, but whatever. We'll take this and this and this. And uh, that's like our 15th luck upgrade pill. Pretty much the luckiest man in the world right now. Get more plays on this with the hopes of getting... I don't even know. Probably a blood bag, but do I even want blood bag? Maybe, maybe not. 48 hour energy again. Okay, let's do it for the 20th time. I don't think we want Little Baggy as much as, you know, our pills have been good. Ah, you know what? Screw it. Let's take Little Baggy. It could be funny. Take Balls of Steel. Take a key. Ah, I probably should have taken the bomb considering we have Pyro, but whatever. I'm thinking this could be good. It's mostly just, like, our pill rotation is so good and we have safety cap. So sure, Little Baggy. Let's, let's roll with it. Now we have the mind. Uh, I'm going to say basically fuck every room except for the boss room. I think we've got a... An easy win on our, uh, I don't know what, what body part you would associate with tears. I guess eyes is the obvious one, but it doesn't make sense. We got the, we got the winning run on our eyes right now. It doesn't, you know, ignore me is what I'm trying to say. But, um, I think, you know, the only way I fuck this one up because we have no respawns is go to too many rooms, get hit. If I get hit enough, we'll lose. I find that that's a pretty bad strategy in Isaac. You know, getting hit causes some problems. Goodbye, safety cap. Hello, curved horn. I was starting to feel like our damage had staled out just a little bit. So this uh, oh, this showing up is, is well worth it. Plus two damage. Why did, why did we move away from the bomb? We could have healed on it. You know what's a good run when, like, pyro is not even a big part of it. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> compare this to our kamikaze pyro run that we had uh, semi-recently. Yeah, I figured we probably wouldn't make it happen, but that's okay. All right, last chance for a deal with the devil. I don't think we're going to get one. We don't need one. The, the run has been kind enough already. I feel bad asking for more. We'll take the luck upgrade combined with the HP. I, I'm not really too concerned about pushing spirit arts out of the way at this point. Check our double key room. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. They're not going to make me do it. I appreciate that. Okay. Um, Maggie's faith is, is not as good for us right now. We ruined our half-heart interval, but I'm not very salty about this. I'm also not even really looking for uh, for uh, Tinted Rocks at all. I, I kind of... I don't want to say that I don't see the value of them, but I kind of don't see the value of them. We'll stand at our range cap basically here in order to let uh, Lump of Cold do the magic that it can do. Where did you go? You were all the way down here. Very sneaky of you. 
That's a good kill. So I my health down. One day, one day we'll be able to use this effectively. Theoretically. Might as well check out our secret rooms this time. Again, we can even heal ourselves on them. Especially if we get like a half heart here. Counterfeit penny is almost entirely worthless for us here. 48 hour energy for the 500th time. Let's, oh, wait. I don't trust it though. I only trust it if I see a ladder. That's another luck upgrade, which is just hilarious at this point. Could have easily been hit there. I also should have let myself get hit, but actually now that I didn't get hit by the bomb, I can get to a half-hour interval. So it's a mistake that has led to a happy accident. My favorite kind. Okay. This one is, you know, I, I like to call it time of death on the Isaac run. Oh, that is it right there. Time of death. 2.32 p.m. Uh, this is cause of death, Cricket's Head, plus balling out of control. This is a one run. We'll be going on to our Isaac run next and hopefully uh, continuing the streak a little bit longer. Too early to say right now, but it's uh, it's another interesting interesting run. And, uh, you know, the, the dream is still alive here. It, it continues. And now it's, you know, where it stops, nobody knows sort of thing. No guppy on this run. But nice little spider friends. I'm happy about that. Very easy finish. And we're not literally done yet, but we're getting certainly very close. Uh, the mind, especially without any curses, makes it so easy for us to min-max these floors and just get to the end as fast as possible. Take a black heart, fine by me, man. Give me a spirit heart back in return, and we're on the way the way we want to go. A little disappointed that... Uh, I don't think we've ever gotten a crawl space, or at least in recent memory, we've never gotten a crawl space or a black market on the cathedral. We could possibly have a chance to change that now. Bit of a tall order, but it, it could happen. Losing a little bit of HP, I will admit, more than I'm uh, happy with, but we're still only two away from the cap, so it doesn't feel that bad. And the more bombs we get, uh, the more our survivability continues to grow as well. Eternal Heart, why not take the Eternal Heart at this point? I'm going to still go back and take it. Uh, if we lose it, that's on us. I'll tell you what, let's do one more room. Just to be able to do that. And it didn't work, but that's okay. All right, spiders, get in there. We'll drag you through the muck here so you hopefully can aggro the boss. Already almost through the second phase of the fight. And got a pretty nice head start on the third phase of the fight there as well. We have Mr. Mega as well, so if we're ever using bombs for healing, we should also try to use those bombs for damage because... Uh, we can get a lot out of it. We might even be able to use the bombs for cover and damage and healing, which is just kind of a ridiculous synergy at this point. But this is looking like a sub 30 minute run. No brimstone, no mom's knife. That doesn't happen that often. For me, at least. Mom's contact, Samson's chain, 10 more bombs. I like all these. I mean, it's not, uh, mom's, mom's chain, sorry, mom's contacts accepted. It's not that crazy of a haul, but it's, it's pretty good. Throw some Mr. Mega Bombs in there just to speed up the whole execution process here and if we can get a mega fatty killed as soon as possible that'll be good for me we got one more left to go probably just a couple of barrages here and he'll be set we do have a secret room though we want to check that out in case there's a key beggar uh money equals power yes feed us in a jar i mean i know we have pyro but i really like our tears right now i'm sorry people are not going to be happy with this decision but uh I, I really i can't get behind feed us in a jar we're still going to win even with feed us in a jar i'd rather win in the in the way that's a little bit more comfortable for me in this situation. Next, you know, if there was a reroll room, we would have done it. But I, I, I find it hard to bring myself to take Fetus in a jar without, um, without Curse of the Blind basically forcing my hand. Shitty damage, but largely irrelevant, probably. Um, yeah, the tech point five, sure. We'll take mysterious treatment as well, or experimental treatment. Tech point five plus uh, homing tears is pretty nice. Tech point five in general is extremely nice. No payout there, and I would say that um, this run is far from being figuratively over. It's just actually over. Now, I know homing bombs plus um, Dr. Fetus are great, and I feel like a total scrub for not going back and taking them, but this is how it's going to be. We already have homing tears, so there's no real need for us to, you know, quintuple down here. Let's just finish this run off, and I'm going to feel very good about our performance. Uh, the poop item, and the... Uh, it's not that amazing, but uh, that's okay. We'll take one. Let's do this, blue baby. I don't think you got much chance here, and, you know, I feel bad for you to some extent. Let's get ourselves hurt a little bit in the process, spawn some very, very helpful spiders, and uh, you're dead. 
lovely run, fantastic, had a good time as Eden on that one, I hope you did too. Uh, you don't get too many Eden runs like that, so we're going to enjoy it while we can. For now, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the episode, if you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal, and of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future, but for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.